Do you remember when did you fell in love for the first time? Yes. 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 I fell in love when I was seven years old to this girl Julie. I think at that time she must have been around six years. Good evening, Cross Masters and Cutter's Chair. Julie was the center of attraction to me. I loved her so much, and in return, she gave all the possible love. But I actually fell in love with her head over heels, and she literally used to fall on my heels to express her love. Every day morning, she used to come near my house to say good morning by waving her whole body like this. I'm sure you must be wondering who is this Julie. I will tell her about her later. But before that, my father, he worked as a clerk in a paper mill. And we had, he had six months to feed, and with his meager income, it was difficult. But despite the materialistic pleasure, the kind of love and affection that I got from my family, I'll never forget. And we learned how to live like a family and how to share. <coughs> I know pretty well that my mother also used to love Julie as much as I did, but she never acknowledged it, fearing that I may bring her home and one more additional person in a single bedroom and an extra mouth to feed. I know this day pretty well as if it happened yesterday. Every time when I used to come from school, my Julie used to wait for me near a tambourine tree. That day it was raining. I had saved few chapatis, the bread, in my box, only to feed my Julie. I went there, and she came to me and made this hissing sound, which appeared as if, hey, I missed you so much throughout the day. I started tossing one piece of chapati, and she hopped, and we were about to reach near our house, the Mujahid appeared, who was a class bully. He pushed me and snatched the bag. Before I could be able to realize what's happening, I told him, let me go. When I turned, all my friends had run, helped and shelter. But to my surprise, the Julie, she pushed him with his paws and pulled the bag with her jaws and she started barking him as if, <clears throat> Don't mess with my friends again. And Mujahid ran away. He was nowhere to see. I wonder if Julie, she belonged to our street canine family, the dog. How can she be so ferocious to protect a friend like me? That moment, she behaved like a ferocious lioness trying to protect her pride. Unfortunately, I wasn't there when she needed me the most. That fateful evening, I had saved a few goodies from my school, wanted to give to my dear friend Julie, went near the tiny tree, thinking that she would be waiting for me, but she was nowhere in the side. I started calling Julie, Julie, you were my friends, they joined me, Julie, Julie, she was nowhere in the side. Disappointed, I thought she must have gone somewhere. I started walking towards my house. <coughs> and when I went closer, I could able to see my neighbors. They were all standing in front of my house. And I saw my mother who was carrying a bottle of water. And the Julie was almost breathless. I wanted to know what happened. Little me had no idea. But I looked her into her eyes. It was trying to convey something as if, help me, help me, I don't want to go, but I could not able to help. I just say, stop eating. Never went for deliberate second self, and I became okay. I went home all alone, and this time somebody told me that local municipal department tried to get rid of Dogs, stray dogs, especially because they thought they are menace. When I got to know the meaning of menace, I can wonder how can we, my Julie, be a menace to the society? <coughs> Do you know? Dogs 
They are incredibly in sync with your emotions. They help you for your physical well-being. You can ask any kids, even when you are a kid, you will be able to reconnect with Blackie, Brownie, whatever the name, just the name that I call the Julie to my love. I read this article sometime back in Times which says, stray dogs across the world have saved people. In Australia, a stray dog saved a woman from drowning. And in Afghanistan, a stray dog saved a soldier from the bomb. And in Kenya, you know, a stray dog saved a just born baby wrapped with a plastic for almost three days. And you need to know this. In India, a stray dog taught a lesson of love and affection to that little boy. I'm proud to say the boy's name. My friends, I don't know how many of you agree, but I agree with this for sure. Mark when he says, if you pick up a stray dog from the street, and if you feel him, he will never burn you. And that is the principal difference between dog and a man. Thank you.